When you think of dependence and relapse, you're probably more likely to think of heroin than marijuana. But could weed be addictive? Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for DNews. Nearly half of the country has legalized medical marijuana, and with more people using it, there are more concerns about potential health effects. Amongst those health effects is addiction. A scary word, but a public health problem that comes with many drugs and mind-altering substances. A new study released in the Journal of Addiction Medicine has found that, yes, marijuana can be addicting. The study included 127 adolescents who were undergoing outpatient treatment for substance abuse, and for most of them, marijuana was their drug of choice. Out of those who use marijuana, 84% percent of them qualified as having marijuana dependence, which the researchers defined as increased use of marijuana, increased tolerance of marijuana, and unsuccessful attempts to stop using it. 40% also experienced symptoms of withdrawal when they stopped and were more likely to have problems at school, work, or at home. Those symptoms looked much like other drugs in a state of withdrawal, anxiety, irritability, trouble sleeping, and depression. Interestingly, this group experiencing symptoms were also more likely to have symptoms of mood disorders. They evaluated all the data based on self-reports right away and at 3, 6, and 12 months later. It's an interesting study, but some of the data from the report has me a little confused. For instance, while increased usage of marijuana could mean addiction, that isn't necessarily a defining characteristic. And if those experiencing withdrawal have symptoms of mood disorders, where does the possibility of a previously existing disorder come into play? Fortunately, this isn't the only data we have. There are other studies that this is building on. A 1999 report from the Institute of Medicine also found signs of marijuana dependence in about 9% of users. Past studies have also demonstrated physical physical and psychological withdrawal symptoms in both people and animals. So firing back at the new release, the National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws has stated that while a small percentage may suffer drug dependence at some point in their lifetime, it's the context of a person's life that matters. They also said that withdrawal from marijuana is relatively short-lived and that it shouldn't be regulated as a Schedule One drug on par with heroin. Health advocates at Brown University state that no one would argue that marijuana is as addictive as alcohol or cocaine, but we're finding that marijuana does have addictive properties for some people. And the idea that marijuana can't be addictive makes it harder for those who are affected to get help and support. Let me know what you think about the addiction debate down below, and I'll see you next time here on DNews.